Okay, welcome back. This is Wayne Matson, uh, and we're here with the Wayne Matson Report Saturday Roundup. I also want to get to the story about the FBI raiding the homes uh, of several uh, anti-war activists. Some uh, they're being accused of having ties to the Colombian FARC and the and Palestinian movements. Gee, I wonder who might be behind this little uh, caper. Uh, this was uh, this is a clip of a, a, a guy with a video. Uh, camera got the license tag number of the one of the um, FBI unmarked vehicles in Minneapolis or St. Paul. I'm not sure which, but it's parked across from Hard Times Cafe up there. Um, and uh, I want you to hear what this guy has to say about uh, the uh, FBI raid. They went into this cafe uh, to talk to these activists. This is Jakob Wheeler reporting for the uptake. September 24th, Friday, we're sitting out here after learning that FBI agents um, are have raided and inspected the homes of several Minnesota, Minneapolis-based activists who um, allegedly, the FBI claims, might have links to terrorist groups. These are activists who are very active during the Republican National Convention protests here in the Twin Cities. I'm right across the street from the Hard Times Cafe in Cedar Riverside neighborhood of Minneapolis. This car here, uh, a Chevy Impala license plate, Minnesota license plate 058BZN. It's right across the street, right across Riverside Avenue from the Hard Times Cafe. And this, we can tell, is an FBI car of the text there. Government-owned vehicle. There's the Hard Times Cafe. Well, we got a lot of white noise there, uh, but essentially he walks across the street and he talks about the FBI going in uh, to uh, talk to a bunch of activists in this cafe. Um, uh, look, uh, Obama is showing his true face. Uh, I, I've written a six-part series on his FBI ties and those of his family and his stepdad, Lolo Satoro. Look, the proof is in the pudding here, folks. The guy is just, uh, he's no better than Bush when it comes to trampling on the rights of American citizens, uh, now going after activists while there's Israelis menacing neighborhoods. Where, why isn't he sending the... FBI after them people, I've given the license plate number out. Okay, FBI, you're supposed to be involved in law enforcement. Do it. Don't go after people exercising their First Amendment rights. Go after people that pose a, an intelligence and security threat to the people who live in this country who are being menaced in their own homes in places like suburban Atlanta and suburban Los Angeles. Uh, do your job for once in a while. Uh, uh, you know, you can only think that the FBI actually stands for the Federal Bureau of Imbeciles. Because they don't do their job, um, what a waste of money! We got Mueller this past week, the director of the FBI, saying, "Oh, we're gonna, uh, we have a homegrown terrorist threat in this country." I mean, when are we gonna stop uh, uh, he hearing this kind of pablum from these these people who all they're trying to do is justify their bloated budgets, uh, after all? Uh, but uh, October second here in Washington, various groups are coming together. Uh, people who would be considered Obama's base. This is the biggest anti-Obama demonstration. It's not the Tea Party, folks. It is the progressive left that's going to be out there, the unions, the student groups, uh, the peace groups, religious groups protesting this awful excuse for President Barack Hussein Sotoro, uh, Soharka, Obama, whatever his name is, uh, whatever his alias is, no matter, I don't know how many passports a guy has traveled under. But anyway, if you happen to be in Washington, get in touch. Uh, WMR will be there to cover it. And we welcome you on October 2nd to Washington, D.C. And that'll do it for this week. Thanks for joining us for the Wayne Matson Report Saturday Roundup.